This is information on how to solve second order systems numerically with tools like MATLAB or Python. So we have this, um, let's say we have this second order system right here, a um, second derivative. Uh, so this is dy dt, for example, uh, the second derivative of that. And then uh, this would be dy dt. And then we have y right here. So differential equations are those that have uh, the value and also their derivatives in the same equation, but uh, numerical tools can't necessarily solve this problem. So what we do is we break it up into uh, two differential equations. We just add another differential equation, uh, new variable z, and then rewrite the equation. Now we have um, one and two differential equations and we've just modified the initial conditions uh, for this first derivative. Okay, so we wanna solve these as uh, two uh, first order differential equations. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in MATLAB and Python. Um, so if you come to, um, if you'd like to just download the example files as you follow along, you can come to the apmonitor.com website, uh, just go to the documentation link. Uh, so let me show you how to get there. Okay, documentation on the right. Okay, and then uh, if you come down to examples um, and click the overview button and then come down to math and uh, second order differential, I'm going to put all of this information here under the second order um, ODE solution uh, and with this example problem right here. And there you also see the, uh, the solutions in MATLAB, Python, Julia, and then you can also um, solve it through a web browser as well. So let me just show you the web browser. Um, here is the uh, differential equation right here. If you just click on, um, make that just a little bit bigger. If you do dynamic simulate and then uh, click the green button to solve it. And then down below, it'll have the solution, but you can click on the uh, view solution results and then uh, come over here to the, um, you know, the dashboard and then what we're going to do is just go ahead and select uh, Y. Okay, so that's our solution right there. Um, there's our solution Y. If you want to see both of them, you can also uh, just go to trend one and see the deri first derivative and the second derivative on the second on the same plot. Okay, so um, there or the first sorry the the Y value and first derivative on the same plot. Okay, so let me show you how to solve this in MATLAB and Python. Uh, because web interfaces are great for exploring um, you know, simple solutions, but sometimes you want to use a tool like MATLAB or Python. So let me come and open um, this. First of all, what we want to do is we want to define our model. Okay, so I'm going to move this off to the side and then open up our... Um, okay, so let me move this uh, right here. And so as we're developing it, we can see our original equations and also the modified ones as well. Okay, so we want to have a, um, a new model.m file. We're going to name this function the same as our, as our uh, uh, file name there. Okay, and then we have uh, the x values coming into it are going to be y and then in uh, this script down below, uh, in this script it's dy, but in the um, equation below it's z. Okay, and then we have k is 30, that's one of our constants. And then we just want to return our derivative values, and so we just need to return um, the expression for, uh, you know, the uh, derivative of y, and then also the derivative of z. So you have to rearrange it just a little bit. You have to put, um, you know, this on everything else on the right-hand side, and just return the derivatives. Okay, so there is our uh, MATLAB file. Now, if I come in here, um, I'm also going to define this in the AP Monitor modeling language as well. So you can do this uh, just in a text file. In this case, I called it second order APM. So it's two different ways to solve this. K is 30 variables. I have Y and then the DY. That's also the Z variable. Okay, with their initial conditions. And then I also have time is zero. Equations, I have uh, just DT, DT equals one. That's just to get time into my model. And then I have uh, dy uh, dt equals dy, and then I also have this uh, differential equation. So I can put uh, the values on either the left or the right hand side. There's my differential of z or the dy term. Okay, and then uh, I have my APM model. So let's go to MATLAB now. Now you need a script that's going to they're going to run both of these models. Okay, so we're just going to clear all, close all, uh, clear the screen. 
And then uh, let's load the AP Monitor modeling li uh, language library. That's a, a free download from apmonitor.com. Uh, so here's how you solve it with the uh, APM function. Okay, so we're going to solve this second order. We name this uh, second order dot APM, and we're just going to solve that second order. And then uh, the mode is four, which is dynamic simulation. Okay, and then we get our solution. Second way to solve this is with an ODE 2.3 uh, in MATLAB, and uh, there is the syntax to solve that. Okay, so we had our model.m, and we're just going to reference that model. Um, this is to go from zero to two and there are our initial conditions as well and then the rest of it is just plotting okay so I'm just going to plot the solution and um, okay and then let me go ahead and run this okay so here is uh, one file go ahead and open up MATLAB now and uh, let's do this second order okay and I'll run it and then it'll come up with the solution. It'll show the two different solutions, two different ways of solving this ODE, and they gave very similar results. Okay, so let's go on to Python now, um, and uh, go ahead and close this. And so to do this in Python, you don't have to write a separate, separate model.py file, although you can. You can just put it directly into this uh, file. We're gonna first of all load the APM package. Again, you just have to go to apmonitor.com to retrieve that or from these, uh, the link that I showed you before. Okay, and then we solve it with the APM solve, um, get our solution. Now here it is with ODE int. Uh, we wanna import uh, the scipy integrate function uh, or package and then also numpy. Um, and then we'll define our model. Um, now in MATLAB and Python it's reversed. Okay, so in MATLAB it's t comma x and in Python it's x comma t. Okay, and then we get our first state and second state. Okay, that's the Y and the Z value. And then a K of 30, just store in a, a empty array here. Okay, and then return X dot uh, zero and one. And then you don't, you don't wanna to forget to return that as well. Okay, so we've rearranged it similar to what we did with the MATLAB file. I'm gonna come up with the time points that I want between zero and two and then integrate um, now it's again it's a little bit different in MATLAB the first uh, second argument is time and then initial conditions in Python is just switched okay but the model name there um, which I defined the new function model and then uh, the, in the initial conditions and then the time points okay now the rest of it's just plotting the results okay so pretty easy stuff once you have the solutions and I'll just put a legend on that I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in um, let me open this up and by the way thank you for uh, uh, USV for uh, submitting this question so that's what uh, spurred this example and uh, so thank you for submitting the question to the YouTube channel um, so let me go to uh, okay second order and I'll go ahead and just open this up with IDLE and uh, then run it and it should give us the same result as MATLAB showed us um, and so it'll pop up with a, a plot in just a second. Okay, so there is a solution to my second order uh, differential equation right there. Okay, so that's it. Um, again, go to the, um, go ahead and close some of these windows. Okay, so the place where you can find these uh, files, if you'd like to work with them, is here um, at this link. And then just scroll down and then you can download all of these examples right there.